thanks for turning into turning into Tech Days 10 and IT Jams, I'm Tech Days Managing Editor, and today we are speaking with CEO Chris Yu from Hamilton-based software firm Torotech. Torotech. Hey, good to be here. <laughs> it is. Nice to meet you, Chris. So Torotech develops a range of solutions, including a facial recognition system called Guardian. Uh, welcome, Chris, and uh, I hope you enjoy our IT Jams. Thank you for the opportunity, and um, right. yeah. It is um, great to be here today. So thank okay. you, Sarah. Thank you. So um, we'll jump into these slides if you want to bring them up now, and we'll start running through the questions. Cool. Yep. So uh, just one sec, and I will share my screen. OK, brilliant. We have their bump on the screen now. So let's get stuck into the first question. For an IT manager that hasn't worked with you before, what are your key products and offerings? Yeah, thank you for the question, Sarah. So um, Torotech, we are a um, solution provider. We provide both software and hardware solution for our customers and mostly government and enterprise customers. So we have two key service verticals. One is AI, focus on facial recognition, and the other one is the IoT and edge computing. Our IoT platform focuses on GPS locations, control, and emergency uh, management. And our competitive advantage in IoT is we have our own customizable in embedded software to manage the data at each and work together with our IoT platform. And we're proud to be a one-stop shop provider for our customer as well, from concept development to scalable production deployment. So thank you, Sarah. So let's talk a little bit about your most recent products announcements in the space of AI. Yeah, so we lead the market in terms of the use of facial recognition in the New Zealand gaming industry. And our facial recognition solution include both hardware, such as camera that I install on site, also software that runs in Microsoft Azure. Um, the needs come from the gaming customer um, it's because of their government, because of the government host responsibility requirements. So they have an obligation to ensure no self excluded player are at their venue. Traditionally, as a venue manager, use their paper photo books, which is nearly impossible for someone to learn and remember a hundred plus faces at the venue. And our facial recognition system take over their tasks and use the world's best and proven AI recognition engine from Microsoft at its core. And that give our customer confidence that they meet their host responsibility obligations. And we provide an end-to-end -end one stop shop for the solution for our customer. So from the camera they install on site to the ongoing support of the overall solution. And I would like to highlight just a couple of key building blocks of our solution. One is the node hardware and also the concerned POI database. So the IoT each node is purposely built that is installed on site at the venue. And it capture face image from the camera and perform its image process using our really owned image processing algorithm before we send it to before we send all the face images to Azure to be matched. And the concerned POI database is an important part of the solution as well. It's built to meet the ISO 27001 security requirements to store private information. So thank you, Sarah. Okay, so you've talked a little bit about facial recognition there. Who uses your facial recognition solution? Yeah, that's a, that's a really good question. So. The Torotech facial recognition solution is trusted by the gaming operators in New Zealand here. So top 10 of the 10 gaming operators use our solution, including the largest, which is New Zealand Community Trusts in New Zealand here. We also expanding our markets to Australia. We currently have deployments in South Australia and ACT. Sky Studies is a good case study for us as well. So they have our solution installed in all of their casinos in Australia and New Zealand. Additionally, we work with them collectively to use AI to help their host responsibility operations to run 
better and be more efficient. And on top of our success in the private sector, uh, New Zealand Ministry of Health selected Dorotech to use Concern as the national problem gambler database. Um, on top, in addition to that, our full facial recognition system is also approved by the South Australian government to be used in the gaming venues in the state of South Australia. So, thank you, Sarah. Brilliant. Okay, so let's switch to IoT. So can you explain yeah. some of your most recent product announcements in IoT? Yeah, IoT is a, um, it's a key vertical for Dorotech and it's important to us as well. Um, the word of IoT, when the word IoT is mentioned, people think about thousands of cheap devices connected to the back end by the internet and send data. There are a lot of company already out there and doing this. So for our applications, we're targeting fewer devices, but in much higher value and capability devices. And we also understand it's not just collecting data, you know, that's not good enough. The, for a product to be successful, it needs a full platform built around it to turn data into real insights. Health and safety is important and our cloud-based system is here to give our customer a peace of mind. And we aren't just develop the platform, we also make it super easy to have devices connecting to our platform. Thank you, Sarah. Okay, so let's talk uh, about your most recent IoT product deployments. What have you been doing? Yeah, so we've been busy in the last couple of years for sure. So um, I'm going to go over three of them. So it kind of give you a bit of a, a wide range of um, ideas. So the first one is the Bishopgate building, which is we deployed a solution there during COVID in 2020, which is a challenge of itself. And Bishopgate is the newest skyscraper, um, which is also the second tallest building in London. So we deploy an indoor tracking solution there with 500 plus indoor beacons for all of the 62 floors. And our platform monitored the location in the safety of the people who work in the building. The second one is back to New Zealand here is a, um, is a case study with Auckland Transport. So we provide a solution to enable connectivity on the buses, such as, um, providing back in communication to the Auckland Transport hop ticketing system. And also that each hardware on the bus enable audio announcement in visual display to improve accessibility of public transport across the Auckland network. When we have a smart device installed, the bus real-time location data is also captured on each device and send it to the Auckland Transport back office applications to manage and predict the bus estimated arrival time. And the real last one is, um, is our most recent project as well, is about solar green energy management using our IoT device. And I love this one and, and I love the project a lot as well. And I believe solar is the best way to meet the world's growing energy needs. And solar energy, it's just everywhere. And it, we need a smart way to manage it. And that's exactly what we do here. And our IoT device knows the real time of how much electricity your house is using, how much the solar energy is generating from a solar panel on a roof. Additionally, how much energy is stored and can be stored in the battery, which is you can see a photo there for one of the kits. And, and, and also the graph can show you the data we capture from those sensors. And we work closely with Panasonic and who's the world leader in the battery power management who provide a battery to Tesla cars and part of building the Gigafit factory. So we work with Panasonic to figure out all of this technology challenges and work with a large Panasonic customer as well, Solar City in New Zealand here, who's selling and install solar battery solutions across the country. And currently we are deploying around two and a half thousand houses in New Zealand annually. So yeah, thank you, Sarah. Wow, there's a lot of use cases and a lot of uh, fantastic things going on. So if a partner or an enterprise end user wanted to uh, reach out to Torotech, um, what's the best way that they can do so? 
Yeah, so we we based in Hamilton, New Zealand here. So we have a team, we have an engineering team on site. So we have um, we have quite a number of key kind of engineer, both for developing software and firmware for our customers. So yeah, we we the best way is going to our website and or email us at info at drawtech.com. Thank you, Sarah. Okay, so that concludes our Tech Day 10 minute IT jam with Toru Tech CEO Chris Yu. Thank you so much for talking to us today, Chris. Thank you so much for listening and I hope it's useful to you and feel free to get in touch. And thank you, Sarah, for hosting this. It's an amazing opportunity for us. So we appreciate you arranging this. Thank you, Sarah. Yes, Chris.